Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will continue our review for the second quarter exam in pre-calculus. So for the first question, evaluate 2 times cosine 30 degrees. So first, using the unit circle, kukunin natin yung cosine again. Dito sa ordered pair nating class, ang cosine natin is the value of x and dito is y. So hanapin natin yung 30 degrees. Ito yung 30 degrees natin. So, yung x dito is square root of 3 over 2 and then yung y is 1 half. So, ibig sabihin yung cosine 30, so ang cosine natin is the value of x. So, 2 times, kapag kinuha natin to, imumultiply natin sa value ng cosine 30 which is square root of 3. Okay, so that is square root of 3 over 2. So, kung... I-multiply natin, maka-cancel natin to, may iwan na lang ay square root of 3. So, that will be the answer. You can use also your calculator to check kung tama yung sagot nyo. Kasi ito pwede natin kunin sa calculator. Okay? So, 2 times cosine 30 is square root of 3. Next. And in standard position, measure 940 degrees has a smallest negative coterminal angle that measures so smallest negative ang coterminal angle yung hinahanap so ang gagawin natin para makuha yon mula sa 940 degrees mag minus tayo ng mag minus ng 360 degrees so 940 minus 360 that is 580 so positive pa rin ito no positive pa yan so, kailangan pa ulit natin mag-minus ulit. 580 minus 360. So, the answer is 220. So, positive pa rin yan. So, minus ulit tayo. 220 minus 360. Minus 360. So, the answer is negative 140. So, this is, will be, uh, this is the answer. Kasi class, kapag nag-minus pa tayo ng 360, so, mas uh, malayo na. So, the answer is negative 140 degrees. Okay. Kasi kapag kinuha natin, negative 140, sige, check natin. Kasi small is negative ko terminal angle eh. So, negative 140 minus 360. Anong sagot? Negative 140 minus 360. Negative 500. Wala naman sa choices. Negative 500. So, therefore, negative 140 is the answer. Okay, next. Which angle is not coterminal with an angle that measures 30 degrees? So, ang gagawin lang natin, class, okay, since yung choices na tatlo ay in radian, so, i-convert muna natin yung 30 degrees into radian measure. So, 30 times pi over 180. So, ito maging 1, ito ay 6. Okay, kasi 6 times 30 is 180. So, the answer is pi over 6. O, ang gagawin natin, class, what we're going to do is uh, kunin natin ang hindi ko terminal sa 30 degrees. So, add lang tayo. 30 plus 360. Kapag nag-add tayo, 30 plus 360, the answer is 390. Kapag nag-minus naman, 30 minus 360, the answer is okay, 30 minus 360, 330. So, alin dito ang hindi ko terminal? Ito ko terminal. So, yung pi over 6, this is 30 degrees. Itong negative pi over 6, this also negative 30 degrees. Ang 11 pi over 6, so that is 11 times 180. Divided by 6, the answer is 330 degrees. Okay. So, paano natin makukuha yung coterminal nito? Ito, negative 30 degrees eh. So, tingnan natin. Kung mag-minus tayo, 30 minus 360. Okay, negative 330. Minus 360 pa, 690. So, the correct answer is letter B. Negative 30 degrees. So, yung negative 30 degrees is not a coterminal of 30 degrees. Next. In which quadrant does a 45 degrees lie? So, using the unit circle or ito, makikita natin kung 
uh, saan natin matatagpuan yung 45 degrees. Since ang quadrant 1 mula 0 papuntang 90, so nandito siya sa quadrant 1. So the correct answer is letter A. Okay. For the last question, convert negative 115 degrees to radian measure. So, paano ito ginagawa? Simply multiply negative 115 to pi over 180 degrees. And then, hanap tayo. Anong pwede kaya na uh, para ma-lowest term natin yung 115 sa 180? Sa 5 kaya, no? Sa by 5. So, tingnan natin. 150. 115 divide 5 natin Okay, tama nga So by 5 So this is 23 Yung 180 naman Divide natin sa 5 That is 36 Okay, so the answer is 23 pi over 36 And then since negative pala yan So negative 23 pi over 36 So the answer is letter B.